What's going on, YouTube? Back here in the greenhouse again for another Thursday update of the Lava Rock Aquaponic Garden, which got some good news. I uh, was feeding the catfish, and I saw it earlier, one of them, and it is huge. That thing's, if it's not 18 inches long, it's coming up on 18 inches long. Um, I know, mosquito. Ugh. And uh, I got a little bit of footage of it just a minute ago. Uh, another project I've got going on um, in here you can see my water level really low I've got that uh, valve over there turned on so I'm gonna go ahead and fill this bed back up I'm not gonna let it keep on running I'm just gonna get it full and turn it back off one cool thing down here with all my garbage and uh, extra pots and stuff like that I find this guy it's just giant old lettuce hanging out underneath the uh, bed here getting no water practically getting no light I mean it's only getting light uh, well that's uh, west right there so I mean it's only getting late afternoon Sun and it's growing so that's pretty freaking cool uh, mint over here even though that water level so low it's just taken off and it's loving life in here um, yeah like I said I just saw the catfish so uh, I'm gonna look at this bed for a second so I'm going to go ahead and insert that catfish clip. That way we can see how big the catfish is. I'll do that right now. Alrighty, fish are cool, aren't they? That was pretty neat. Anyway, now we're back over here looking at these, this bed and everything. We got this uh, thing over here. Not exactly sure. I'm pretty sure it's a weed, and I believe this is the same thing right there. I find these things all over the yard. So I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it's something that's gonna not be in the bed anymore. Right over here, another one of my mystery plants. And uh, yeah, I guess it kind of does look like bok choy. So maybe all my mystery plants are bok choy. Eh, we're just going to start calling it that anyway. Ugh, another mosquito. My uh, strawberry here, looking a little iron deficient and everything. Still haven't added any iron to the system. Did I have any berries? I got one right over there. Uh, ugh, and one that looks like it's covered in powdery mildew. Ugh, that's not good. Get rid of that as soon as possible. Um, yeah, I got this weird little thing here that apparently it's growing. I don't know. I've got some Malabar that are hanging out. Man, that freaks me out every time my, well, my butt touches the daggone air, um, I guess it's an air compressor or whatever, um, the, uh, air machine back there that's vibrating. Every single time I touch it, I'm like, what the heck? Scares the heck out of me. Anyway, that's, uh, another Malabar, another Malabar. And looking at these way too long. Another Malabar right over here. My giant onion. Looking awesome. My giant lettuce. I went ahead and trimmed it up a little bit. So harvested some of the leaves on there. So uh, go ahead. Bush up, little buddy. Um, then, oh yeah, my little tiny uh, indigo rose that's growing right there in the crack. Heck yeah. Uh, I've got another Malabar right over here. And a whole sea of Malabar all over in here with another, we're going to say bok choy, right over there. And uh, the uh, broccoli is flowering, so hopefully we're going to have a bunch of seeds here. You can see the little seed pods that we've got growing on there after it's done flowering. Um, I've got more Malabar, because you can't have too many Malabar in one little tiny area well maybe if you're dirt gardening but aquaponics right uh, another little malabar another little malabar oh algae that's a plant 
Um, more Malabar and a weed. Uh, where'd he go? Where'd he go? There it is. This little guy right here. Indigo Rose. Indigo Rose. So, that is awesome. More Malabar. I mean, look at that. The Malabar this year is absolutely ridiculous. I should just change one of these gardens to the Malabar Aquaponic Garden. Huh? Uh, check out this guy. Standing up nice and tall. My Indigo Rose looking beautiful. Next to a Malabar. Surprise, surprise. Over here, a Malabar that only has one leaf and tip burn. Um, another one right over there, and another one over there, one with small leaf, one with a large leaf. Uh, another indigo rose right over there. No, Malabar, Malabar. Two Malabar, really close. They like each other. Uh, and then we just have a whole sea of Malabar in here uh, with two indigo roses right here. Yeah. Um, this is, I guess, what they call voluntary uh, seeding, where you just let seeds fall all over the place. There's two more indigos to the right, uh, left there. There's one right there to the right. Uh, I thought there was another little tiny little guy. And I guess I might have been thinking wrong. But look at that guy. Look at that. That looks like a baby cabbage. That's just hanging out right there, growing up above uh, daddy cabbage, I guess. And uh, I don't know what that black dot is there, but it seems it's some kind of poop. Maybe a cat. Uh, well, it looks really small, but <laughs> maybe it's a small cat. Uh, let's see what else we have growing on in here. All of these cabbage over here grew up big and tall and have fallen over and have little seed pods everywhere all over the place there. So it looks like I'm going to have a bunch of uh, brock or cabbage seeds. And this little guy over here doesn't appear to be bolting, but it appears to be getting a lot bigger. So not sure. We'll track that guy. My beautiful little one over here. And uh, I love it. So cool. And uh, it's coming along quite nicely. So I guess maybe I'm going to get an actual uh, cabbage off of there. Oh, it's got a little offshoot here. That's what I'm looking at. Um, same with this bed. I'm going to go ahead and turn um, uh, turn the, uh, where is this one? Way over here, under this cabbage. Turn this valve back on so we can start filling it up. Because as you can see, got, I should probably clean all those roots out of there. Look at all those roots. I don't know if that's coming up. Going to night vision. Does the camera even have night vision? I don't know. Maybe it doesn't. But, uh, yeah, anyway, there's tons of roots in there, so maybe uh, I should clean up some of that stuff first. But anyway, oh yeah, last one. Get my mint over here, looking pretty nice. And then my five-headed uh, brock, or cabbage, over here, uh, pretty much starting to bolt. So, And I would say, yeah, I did have a question. I'll answer that in the comments. But, uh, yeah, I had a question about, uh, do I think it's like the outdoor temperature? Of course. Like, this is uh, North Carolina, so it's been off and on, but it's been 80 since uh, February, so it's not surprising that all of my, uh, uh, what would I call them, flowering vegetables are bolting, so, because it's probably been time for them to do that. I don't know. I don't know. I'm not all up on my plants, but uh, I just have them. Anyway, that was my walk around here, checking out the um, Lava Rock Aquaponic Garden and everything that's growing on in here. Uh, don't forget to hit that uh, thumbs up button, uh, hit that subscribe button. Wasn't that really cool how we had uh, catfish on video this week? I'll try to do that every week and uh, see if we can keep an update of the catfish. Because, you know, fish are cool to see. Um, yeah, I guess that's it. So don't forget to do all that fun, happy social media stuff down below. And I will catch y'all in the next video. So, till then. Later.